Yo, Ida, let me roll. I've moved from here. Hurry up if you're coming. This is what's happening right now. Hurry yeah. up if you're coming. As you can see on the, on the ground, it's ashes, you know? Pastor William, I know you're very busy at this time, taking care of shelters, etc. But you are there. Can you give us an update? Tell us exactly what has happened and what is happening presently in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I'm happy to be here this morning to give you a synopsis of what really taking place here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We began the explosive eruption. Last of all, we began the explosive eruption and um, Friday morning. And since then, persons started evacuated on Thursday night because we, we have here in St. Vincent a very experienced scientist. Um, he came to assist us and recognized that in a few hours time, we will be having an explosive eruption. Around 8.35 on Friday morning, it was our first explosive eruption. And since then, St. Vincent the Grenadines continued to experience explosive eruption Friday afternoon, Friday night, and Sabbath morning, even up to last night, we had explosive eruption. Dr. Kerr, can you come in and share with us? Sure. Good, what good is morning happening there in St. Vincent? Yes. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Pastor O'Neill. Uh, yes. I'm live in the field, as you can see. I'm out. You can notice um, behind me, up in the air there, it's ash covered. Um, we have um, active within the Seventh-day Adventist Church, um, four shelters, we believe, with over 100 persons um, coming from the various communities in the north that are seeking refuge there. I'm currently um, managing one of those shelters. Uh, that's okay. the Mount Moriah you development center. We have 67 persons in there. Um, it is real, real terrible. Uh, I mean, we've gotten a little ease today. We are trying our best to see how we can give assistance to the folk who are in need. As Pastor William shared, we have over 3,000 persons in different shelters, schools, community centers, churches, all around St. Vincent. So we are trying our best to see how we can um, reach out to them. Um, we, from Pastor uh, William's perspective, he's already started on the ball on Friday, Thursday. The shelters were activated on Friday. He um, prepared meals, over 300 meals he prepared and distributed. He also would have provided blankets and stuff like that. But, you know, this, we're here for the long haul. They anticipate that we are going to be in this for weeks. I'm talking about what we're experiencing now with the ash fall. You know, we're trying to do our best to um, assist those who would have left the, the red zone. Uh, what are some of the needs of the well, people? Presently, presently we, we have water need, food items, disinfectant, bleach, mops and brooms, toiletries, uh, diapers of babies and adult buckets, masks, um, cuts and matches. Tin food stuff, water storage, receptacles, clothing items, uh, because people are running out of water and all kind of things like that. And, and because of the, the ash, we, you know, a lot of people, the asthma will need puff and all these things. Okay, medical supplies. Medical supply. Dr. Isaacs, uh, can you come in here and tell us uh, what you have uh, started? Yes, thanks, Pastor O'Neill, for this opportunity uh, for us to be able to, to uh, get an, an idea of what's happening. Um, the, thanks for the report from uh, Pastor Williams and Dr. Kerr. We, we are trying our best to see how best we can coordinate <clears throat> the response activities. As you know, there are a number of stakeholders involved in the process. And we have the ADRA arm, we have the community services arm. Um, we have the, 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 our institutions across the Caribbean, for example, USC. So right, what's up right now, we have already uh, taken steps. I've informed the, our, our folks at Arjun International. I've been in touch with them with meetings, trying to see how we can coordinate the national response um, locally. 
and uh, also to see exactly how we can assist um, the persons who are most most um, hit. Some some fields have already begun to, to have stuff drop into their compounds. For example, here in, in South Caribbean Conference, folks have begun to drop things off for the local uh, um, conference office there. But let's keep praying for the island in the meantime. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Isaac. Yes. We want to ask the community services directors yes. from the other nine fields, if you can start mobilizing your members right, to bring in the items that have been identified. Let them bring it in, you store it. And when we are ready, when Dr. Isaac says that we are ready, then we are going to coordinate the shipping of these things to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So let's start doing that and let's do it urgently so that our brothers and sisters and all the citizens, they can get relieved by God's grace. God bless you. Yes.